And we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with Hugh at Florida Detroit Diesel Allison. We're sitting here on the Volvo Penta D11. You've drained all the oil out and we got to change these oil filters. What is the proper procedure on changing the oil filters on this? Proper procedure is you put some sort of a container underneath the oil filters because you don't want the oil to leak out and create a mess in the bilge of the boat or wherever the engine is located. So you have three, three filters here. Two of them are, are full flow filters and one is a bypass filter. Okay, I got to stop you on there. What's the difference between what is it? Full flow? Full flow and bypass. The bypass filter is used to filter any of the extra oil that the engine doesn't require that goes back to, directly into the sump. So okay. all the oil that comes out of this engine is filtered before it goes back to the sump. Really? So it's filtered before and after? The engine has a gear-driven oil pump on it, which produces more oil than the engine actually needs to lubricate all the moving parts. Okay. So you have the two full flow filters, which actually feed the engine. And when, it, when these are at full capacity and the engine's running, then all the excess oil goes through the bypass filter. And the bypass filter dumps the extra oil back into the sump that the engine does not require. Okay. All right. So now, uh, how do you take these things off? They're a standard thread, so it'd be left to loosen the, loosen the filter up. And of course, you want to catch the oil and the filter itself so it doesn't fall and create a mess. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy? Yes. Man. I would have, the first time I changed oil on my truck, if I would have remembered that, it would have been so much easier. Uh, <laughs> that's being, being mounted on the rear of the engine makes it fairly simple for everyone also because of the access you have, whether it was a gear here for a direct inboard or a shaft going to the IPS drive system that Volvo has, there's plenty of room to access the filters. So once they're off and you're getting ready to put a new, one, new filters on, uh, take us through the step-by-step -step process of that. You'd want to make sure this, the mating surface or gasket surface on the filter head is clean. So you want to wipe that clean with a, a lint-free cloth. Okay. Then you'd want to lubricate the rubber O-ring that seals the oil filter to the housing with clean oil and screw the oil filter up. Of course, when you're doing an oil change, after you start the engine, you're going to want to readjust the oil level, which is adding oil, to bring it up because the filters will require, they will fill themselves through, through the system. There you have it. Pretty simple. Thanks, Hugh. And thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.